Hi, today we'll be looking at Ultimate Frisbee. In this presentation, we will be looking at what Ultimate is and the rules of the sport, its establishment and history, the popularity level of the sport, Ultimate in Australia, its development as a sport, and Ultimate at the elite level. Ultimate was established in New Jersey in the late 1960s, which is now played in over 30 countries worldwide. The sport combines aspects of touch football, gridiron, and netball. Ultimate is a non-contact sport that is played between two teams consisting of seven players per team. The game is played on a long grass field that is 110 meters in length and 37 meters wide. The aim is to throw the disc into the end zone, which is 23 meters long, to score a point for your team. It is different from other sports, as it's self-refereed. Ultimate is a fast-paced sport that demands throwing skills and stamina. The actual origin of the frisbee came from Yale students throwing a pie tin to each other. This pie tin had come from a bakery called Frisbee's Pies. But Ultimate was created in 1968 by Joel Silver at Columbia High School. The first game was played between students in a car park. The first inter-school game was played on November 7, 1970 between Columbia High School and Melbourne High School. The first American college game was played in 1972 between Princeton and Rutgers. The first organized tournament was played at Yale University, which is located in New Haven, on the 25th of April, 1975. It began as an American University game before it became an international sport. The first set of rules were written in 1970 by Joel Silver, Buzzy Hellring and John Hines. Ultimate's governing body is called the World Flying Disc Federation. The sport was introduced to the World Frisbee Championships in 1975 and in 1983 the first World Ultimate Frisbee Championships were held in Gothenburg, Sweden. In 1978, the first Australian Ultimate Frisbee Championships were held. The Dingoes, the first Australian Ultimate Frisbee team, competed in the World Championships for the first time in 1998. Ultimate in Australia is now a firmly established sport. In the early 1980s, Ultimate had made its first appearance in Australia at university level. It had then become more popular by 1988, where Australia had its own national team, called the Australian Dingoes. Most recently, at the 2016 World Championships in London, the Australian men's team placed third. There are now plenty of local leagues and competitions being played nationally. Ultimate Frisbee is popular because you don't need to be an athlete to play the sport. It is played in over 30 countries, but is most popular in the USA. The United States Ultimate Frisbee College division first started in 1984 and has grown to include 14,000 students across more than 700 college teams. Starting in 2013, the college championships began broadcasting in the secondary ESPN channels in the United States. The World Flying Disc Federation reported that they had 145,592,000 members in the 2014 census. The largest national member of the federation is the USA, followed by Canada, Australia, Germany, Great Britain and Japan. Of the total, 29% are women and 84% are 35 years or younger. The most significant growth today has been seen out of Latin America and Eastern Europe as well as juniors in the United States. Ultimate Frisbee first started as a recreational activity like most sports, but has steadily grown into a more competitive sport. As we look at the graph on the slide, the number of athletes represented by the World Flying Disc Federation has increased by over 100,000 in the span of 10 years. This states that the interest of playing semi-competitive Ultimate Frisbee has increased over the years. Because of the increasing interest in Ultimate Frisbee, there has been a world and national championships created. There has also been competitions created such as beach competitions and other continental competitions including European championships.
If we look at Ultimate Frisbee from a spectator view, there aren't many platforms to view the sport. In this current generation, it is hard to gain popularity with no media platforms, so it is important for a sport to have a big media presence in order to get recognised. If you look at Ultimate Frisbee on a social media platform such as Facebook, the sport Ultimate Frisbee only has 3,288 likes. However, AFL has 910, 855,000 likes. Another way of looking at this is that to be able to watch Ultimate Frisbee matches, they are streamed live online via the Facebook page, while AFL is one of the most televised and funded sports in Australia. The demand for Ultimate Frisbee broadcasting is almost non-existent, and the sport must work hard to gain any sort of recognition. In Australia, Ultimate Frisbee has only really become popular in university games, played by university students, which are usually adolescents. University games are built for more of a social environment rather than serious competition, though. Even though the popularity of Ultimate Frisbee has grown over the years, the game still isn't classed as a popular sport in Australia. Looking at the data that has been recorded in relation to the popular sports, we can see that Ultimate isn't even in the top 20 most popular activities amongst Australian men and women. History is one of the factors on why Ultimate Frisbee is not a popular sport in Australia. With the sport having originated in the United States, it has taken a few decades to even make it an official university game. As it has started in America, the historical attributes all lay over there, whereas in Australia there is no massive history around Ultimate Frisbee. For example, cricket is one of Australia's biggest sports. It has a history of British colonisers coming over and using the game to civilise Australian people. Social institutions have played a part in while Ultimate Frisbee is not particularly popular in our country. Since other sports have originated in Australia, they have a bigger grassroots program. AFL has an Auskick program, then into junior football leagues, whereas Ultimate Frisbee in Australia does not have a grassroots upbringing, therefore participation rates are lower and the national sports take precedent. The Oxford Dictionary defines the meaning of inclusive as not excluding any section of society or any party involved in something. At a first glance, Ultimate Frisbee appears to be a casual sport, and that is exactly what it is. Ultimate Frisbee is, at its element, a socially inclusive sport that allows people of all genders, religions, ability, and race to play without hassle. The values on which this sport is played has allowed it to expand into a sport that is played for fun, a sport that is played to socialise, a sport that is, to, that is played at a competitive level, and most important of all, a sport that is inclusive for the majority of Australians. Historically speaking, sports have been separated by genders, with males playing against males and vice versa. All you need to do is turn on the TV to see examples of this with netball, AFL, basketball, tennis and soccer being taking centre stage as prime examples. However, Ultimate Frisbee succeeds where these sports fall short. At the 2014 University Games, Ultimate Frisbee had the highest mixed gender rate out of all the sports played at the Games which was a first seen around university games around the world. The game of Ultimate Frisbee is played very much with a social aspect involved. The sport is very inclusive socially, with anyone being able to join in and play. Alcohol has become an intricate part of the experiencing the sport in a social aspect. A quote from a journal article written by Hamish Crockett sums up how alcohol interacts with Ultimate Frisbee. A quotation states, Afterwards, we went to the student bar and met all the other teams and socialised. And I hadn't really done that with any other sports I'd played. With Ultimate, you've circled up, you've all talked about how the game went, and now we're going to the bar to have a chat and get to know each other a little bit more. And I really, really like that side of the game.
The basic level of skills involved in Ultimate Frisbee are catching and throwing, two very basic motor skills that are quickly learnt early on. This strengthens the view that Ultimate Frisbee is a casual game that can be joined by anyone at any time with very little preparation and skill. Being a casual game, the injury rate within the sport is very low, with only 6.3% of all participants require, requiring treatment. This goes to show that the game is not physically demanding as other sports may be. While it is not an overly skills dependable game, when the culture of the social aspect of the game are looked at, it may not fit some participants' religious or cultural beliefs. For example, the alcohol culture seems to be a huge aspect of the social side of the game. While not everyone drinks, it's the social aspect of having a casual drink and get together after the game that is the pull to the sport for most people. Ultimate Frisbee, having, had the, having, ha, having the highest mixed gender participation rate, may be frowned upon in some cultures, and Ultimate might not be the ideal sport to participate in. While this isn't a direct exclusion, this may impact on participation levels from people of some religions and cultures. However, in the grand scheme of things, Ultimate Frisbee itself is a game that caters for all comers and that all wish to play and participate. So in conclusion, Ultimate Frisbee is in essence a socially inclusive game for all Australian participants, people of all genders, religions and races to play the, without a hassle. Ultimate Frisbee is there as a game to serve not only as fun, but a means to socially include people at schools and university with different opportunities presented to play either at a social or competitive level. After much research, we can say that Ultimate is not a popular sport in Australia because it does not have a grassroots upbringing and it doesn't have anywhere near as many participants at club level compared to AFL football and netball. Ultimate also has limited media coverage and it isn't played competitively by many people within Australia. Our geographic location has also impacted why Ultimate is not popular in Australia as it was founded in the US which is geographically a long way away from Australia.